So, you know, Bobby, this is season two of Break the Ice. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> sh myself to death on my own show. Girl, <laughs> We're from God's thin. lips to my ass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is that how it goes? <laughs> You feeling good? Great. Let's do it. I can do all that. Yep, all that. I can do that. I feel like <laughs> you're ready. Yeah. Hey. Wait, this I told you, like I told you, what did I say right before we got out? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that you said uh, you thought I'd do well. Yeah, you because right now you look like the outfit and everything looks skatery. I here latch ooh, in. Ooh, I don't want to take you down with me. You're a national treasure. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've been very excited for this. I know to be here in beautiful Lakewood, Lakewood California. California. Can you believe? Hashtag no lake. <laughs> You know, it's funny, as I've gotten older, yeah. <laughs> um, I find that I've gotten better at sports. Really? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, I mean, <laughs> the athletes jumping out, uh, you know? Growing up, I was good at no sports. But what? now, like. Did you play like, any when you. Uh, I tried baseball and basketball, but I wasn't good at it. I know. It was I tried also to be... so much toxic masculinity, it just wasn't for me. <sighs> 20 years ago, I went to go snowboarding. <laughs> Holy mother of God. <laughs> I'm gonna get an aneurysm from this show. I swear to God. I went to go snowboarding in Colorado, and I get up there, and I'm like, I don't need lessons. I can just figure it out as right. I go. And then you're in Colorado, and you realize that if you, if you don't know how to stop, you fall off like, you know, a 14,000 foot head. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I went down the mountain once, and when I say I went down, I fell down the mountain. Right. And for 15 years, I never did it again. What? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh but three years ago, yes. I went snowboarding, and I'm like, I'm gonna take lessons, and I learned how to stop, and now I love it. Really? Love it. Do you know that I know how to skateboard? But you can't snowboard? Well, I've never... You've I've, never tried? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Queer Eye has really changed a lot for you. You know, before Queer Eye, I had stores and a brand, but not at all like I do now. Mm. Um, so it's definitely catapulted myself and my brand into the spotlight in many ways. Yeah. You know, some good, some bad. You know, it's been nice to see the camaraderie and the friendship of you and the other Fab Five, mm -hmm. but I do have to say one thing. You do the most manual labor I've ever seen. Yes. I mean, I'll be honest, it's a little less than it was in season one and two. Okay. I have a bigger, better team now. But yeah, I definitely have Because, you know, I, I do love watching an episode where you see, you know, everybody's crying and... And the, I'm not even there. Well, you're not there. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, Bobby built a log cabin from scratch in yep. three days. With my bare hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I knew going into it that I was going to have the most labor intensive and time intensive job. Um, but that's just part of it. You know how Vanity Fair has celebrities come in and do that lie detector test thing? Yes. So they hooked us up to that, and the first question for me was, <laughs> do you think you're the hardest working guy on Queer Eye? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Karama was like, girl, you're delusional. And I was like, bitch of all the people. Uh, <laughs> You know what, I feel like you are in good skates. Let's do a bunny hop. Oh, what's that? Okay, so you're gonna take this leg. Uh -huh. You're gonna kick it forward like that. So. Like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I did it! Yes, Woo! that is very good. <laughs> I mean. Tens across the board? <laughs> yes. It's tens, right? Yeah, it's one through ten. Yeah. It is one through ten. You got See, it. See, I'm like you know. a, an ice skating aficionado. So, we're gonna do Michelle, one more time. Michelle, she taught me everything I know. <laughs> Listen, Michelle Kwan, thank you so much. I stole your student, and it's going great. 
So we're gonna try one more time. So you're gonna hop onto the toe to push forward. And, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's actually good. something, it's not just yes. like a, a false start. <laughs> a penalty shot. <laughs> no, that's good. Oh, sh oh my. You are skating with the most speed I've ever had on here. Really? Yeah, can, oh. you, can you feel wind? I can. I'm catching wind. Don't let go, Adam, don't let go. No, don't let go. <laughs> this is good. I'm Look the king of Lakewood. <laughs> By the time this comes out, Queer Eye Japan will be ready. Yes. And I have to say, the first episode is the best episode we've ever done. Um, and I think the other three are some of the top three we've ever done. What makes it the best episode? I think it was because it felt like the first time again. Mm. Like it felt like we were learning how to do it again, where I feel like, although everything is still very sincere on the show, we know it kind of where we need to go with people to get them to open up quicker. Mm -hmm. Or I know exactly what I need to do with the design because it's, I do it every freaking week. Yes. Where in Japan, I couldn't touch the walls, I couldn't paint the walls, I couldn't put anything on the really? walls. You can't change the floors. So that really like pushed you out of Yeah, so I had to box. figure out how to build a lot of custom furniture that would just like create, and everything was like 150 square feet. But also just speaking in Japanese, yeah. but having an amazing translator. And when you watch the show, it'll actually look like I understand Japanese and our heroes understands English. <laughs> because unfortunately we had to edit our translator out. We didn't do a Marie Kondo moment. So as Lena would be translating for us, we'd just be kind of standing there staring into each other's eyes. Yeah. And at some points, like with Yoko, our first hero, her and I would just sit there and start crying, looking at each other's eyes. Like, I can't wait for you to see that one. It's such a great Isn't episode. Isn't that so, like, it, it really, like, the power of connecting with somebody, like, over trumps anything. So, in Japan, they don't really hug. It's mm. just not a thing. Um, so when we came in, of course, all these big, tall, except for tan, gays. Um, <laughs> I love you, Danny, baby. Coming in and hugging, and we didn't even think anything of it mm. until the end of the first episode, where this 57-year-old woman says to her best friend who nominated her, the Fab Five hugged me, and it felt, it felt so good. We should try it. And they just stood there Aww. for like 10 minutes hugging each other and giggling and laughing and hugging each other, and we're like, I have like chills. <laughs> like we're changing yeah, the so world sweet. one hug at a time. Moments like that over and over and over. Yeah. Um, just really made for a very emotional mm -hmm. season. I feel like our next move is a spiral. Oh, is that like a turny thingy? So it's, it's called scary. a spiral because if you hold it, it'll spiral around. But a spiral like is basically, life. yeah, listen, you are preaching to the choir. Um, let me go and I'll show you this. You'll be on one foot and you'll lift your leg up. Okay. <laughs> Hold me, daddy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was really good. Is that the best you've seen? That was pretty surprising. Yes, yes. Bobby motherfucking Burke, look at you. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby! I don't know why I felt the need to whistle through that. Like oh, that was gonna help me. Oh my God. Bobby, how charming. If I had to design something, uh -huh. where do you start? One of the things, I guess I kind of knew this before, but it really was driven home to me during Queer Eye, is when I'm designing for somebody who really doesn't know their own aesthetic, yes. and doesn't know how to express it, which was the case for a lot of our heroes on Queer Eye, I ask them about completely unrelated things. You know, what's your dream vacation? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite television show? And it kind of gives you a little window in of what they like. Mm -hmm. For example, the Remy episode, he had inherited his grandmother's home after she passed. It was very retro 70s. He didn't know what his style was. So I asked him, you know, what's your favorite television show? And he was like, Mad Men. And I'm like, what's your dream vacation? He's like, Cuba. I'm like, all right, this dude is totally gonna be into like mid-century modern, like 50s yeah. Cuba. So I did mid-century furniture. I put a beautiful photograph of Cuba up as a mural. And he was like, oh my God, this is me. I didn't even know this was me. How did you know? I'm like, I just asked you about things that you like. Ah. You know? And if it's things that you like, it's probably things that you'll want in your home as well. Right. 
You know, it's all about sparking joy, as Miss Kondo would say. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna learn how to do a crossover. Just like you're skating forward, okay. you're gonna push, cross in front, and put it here. I don't even know if I can do that without skates. So give me this hand. Okay. And this one back here. Oh, it's like, okay. So now you're gonna push forward and just cross your right leg in front of the left one. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have enough speed yet. Lift this hip up. Oh, okay. Very good. Step, cross, yes. Man. Yes, you're doing great. I feel like a baby colt. When they just, <laughs> like when they just minutes come out without. of the womb and they're learning how to walk and they're all. <laughs> Well, Bobby, I made us a little something. Always the way I like to end my ice skating. I mean, it's a kettle martini. Pretty cute, right? Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Smells good, right? Ooh. Well, before we get to these, oh. I have to tell you that today was a blast. Same, same. Yeah. It's been so long since I've skated. And it I mean, doesn't what a show. dream to skate with an Olympian. I mean. I mean, you did go to the Olympics, right? I did. <laughs> what was your favorite part? My favorite part was that special moment where you nailed the spiral. Four is all around. It was... I got that leg like a quarter of the way up. <laughs> the wind was in my hair. The pick was in the ice. It was marvelous. Glorious. It was so good. And you know what? That's a really hard move for somebody who's not been on the really? ice in a long time. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I should... Maybe I should look into this. Maybe Jonathan Van Ness isn't the only skater from Queer Eye. I feel like now there are two. So, before we get to these, I do think it's time that you perform for me. Oh. <laughs> dance, Bobby, dance. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Graceful that was, dismount. That was really good. Good. Yes. Oh, good, yes, okay. Wow, really making the most of this moment. Ah! Oh. oh, they're really gonna deduct points for that one. <laughs> Damn it. Try one of your crossovers one more time. Good, yeah. what about your spiral? You got it. Oh, oh, good. This is really a lot of time on one foot. Oh, I'm losing speed. All right, you got this, Bobby. Yes, yes, yes! Very good. What about an ending pose? Do a dramatic ending. Oh, 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 oh. That was my dance move. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> it's all because of you. My Ooh. bottom's black and blue. <laughs> Thank you all for watching another episode of Break the Ice. And Bobby Burke, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Adam. Cheers. Yeah. Oh my God, anytime. Make sure you follow Bobby on all his socials at... Bobby Burke, B-E-R-K. Like this video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time on Break the Ice. Bye. To us.